We've got DAX, we've got custom data, and I heard some news on the custom visual front for Power BI. That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy Cube. And I found a few things that I think you might like. First up is a blog post from Rob Colley where he's calling out the movers and the fakers. So he's using DAX to help you spot outliers within your data. So if you've ever been curious about how to actually do this and to actually find the items that are either, that are just way outside the bounds of what your normal data is, check out this blog post and see what he did from a DAX perspective to actually do this inside of Power Pivot or within Power BI. Next up is a blog post that talks about four recommended practices if you're a new DAX user. So if you haven't ever written any DAX or maybe you're just getting started, this is a great place to kind of get some best practices in terms of what should I be doing with DAX. These are actually excerpts from a larger talk that Paul Turley did on DAX. So be sure to check out that full webinar as well as this blog post to help get you started. Next up is a blog post from Kai Uncroft from the product team where he looks at how to actually pass usernames to analysis services by customizing the connection string to analysis services. So you can do this from reporting services, you can actually do this from anything that connects to analysis services. And this takes advantage of the custom data connection property for an analysis services connection. And from that standpoint, you can pass whatever you want inside of custom data. And then on the analysis services side, you can take that data and do something with it. And so he walks through how to actually do that using reporting services and analysis services as the example. This is also available on the Power BI side when you're using live connections to analysis services. In the map username feature, you have the option to either use effective username or custom data. And you can pass whatever you want to custom data. You just have to handle it properly on the analysis services side. So if you're interested in using that field and passing custom data to analysis services, check out this blog post. All right, time for some custom visuals in Power BI. So the folks over at SQL BI, Marco Russo and Alberto Ferrari, they came up with a website called OKViz OK where they're gonna highlight the custom visuals that they're putting together. They've already got a bunch that are listed on that site and they've indicated that there are more coming. So if you're interested in using custom visuals with inside of Power BI, be sure to check out this website, okviz.com. They've got a bunch of custom visuals already out that are top notch and you will like what you see. Okay, what was your favorite item from this week? Go ahead and leave that in the poll in the upper right and let me know. Also, you can leave that down in the comments below and let me know if there was maybe something else I didn't highlight that you thought was interesting. You can also leave any questions or comments down there as well. And if you like this video, be sure to like and share it with your friends. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me and share that out with you. And every Tuesday I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.